afternoon, Key Stage 2, and welcome to your Friday Assembly. It's been a very strange week this week with the long weekend and then that mini half term at the start, so it feels like this week has gone really fast. But I will hand straight over to your teachers, who are going to share with you some of their stars of the week. Over to you, teachers. Hello, 5A and everybody else. Welcome to another Friday Assembly uh, after only a three-day week. I hope you've all had a wonderful week. I know that I have, and I'm sure that the rest of the teachers are really enjoying seeing all your wonderful work. This week I am awarding Pupil of the Week to someone who has done a lot of good work on Edmodo, also before Edmodo. She has handed in, I think, almost every single piece of work, which is pretty remarkable. Uh, very good effort and that pupil of the week from 5A is Bernadette. Congratulations and congratulations to all the other wonderful pupils who got pupil of the week this week. Bye! Hello everyone and a special hello to 3A. I hope you all had a lovely half term. So this week was a bit tricky for me to decide what my star of the week just because we haven't been in for the full week. So on Wednesday, I logged on to Edmodo to do a little bit of marking and there was one person that really stood out to me because he had completed all of his work, his English, his maths, his science, his spelling and his PSHE. And that person was Bahanadin. So Bahanadin, you are my star of the week this week for all of the amazing work that you submitted um, on the first day back of school. Uh, but not only that, Bahanadin, your English work this week was so impressive. You got all your simple and compound sentences correct. You wrote some amazing sentences yourself and all of your spellings were correct. So well done for that. And also your science work was brilliant. You did um, some amazing diagrams of some plants that you found in your garden. I particularly liked your aloe vera plant. It looked just like the picture that you sent me. And you also um, labelled a plant so accurately and it was so neat and detailed. I was just very, very impressed with you this week, Bahanadin. So, Bahanadin, you are 3A's star of the week this week. Uh, well done to everyone else, though. You've all been submitting lots of amazing work as well. Please keep it up. Keep up the hard work. Um, have, a lovely, have a lovely weekend. And I will see you all again next Friday. Bye! Good morning Year 6 and I hope you had a fantastic half term and are really rested and ready for your last half term in Year 6. Can you believe how quickly this year has gone? Um, it was a really hard job this week picking people of the week even though we've only been back a few days but I had to base it on your puppet shows. Now all of you submitted some fantastic puppet shows but the one that I've picked is Evie's. She not only did an amazing puppet show based on The Wizard of Oz, she's been working really, really hard in her maths over the last few weeks. So well done, Evie. Keep up all the hard work and the rest of you carry on working hard next week. Bye. Good afternoon, Key Stage 2. Mr Evans here. Hello to everyone and hello to 6M specifically for this part. Our Pupil of the Week this week has been a tough choice. Because it's been quite a short week, so I've had to go from what I've seen this week but also going a little bit from the last couple of weeks as well. So this pupil of the week I have chosen, my absolute star is for someone who has been doing amazing work throughout. So, our pupil of the week is... We interrupt this broadcast to bring you breaking news. Word has been received from the Year 6 astronauts who are currently on their way to Mars as part of their Term 3 science project. We are hearing that we are getting a live message beamed down from them right now. Over to you, Year 6 students, on a spaceship to Mars.
I don't know what quite happened there. I will go back to what I was saying. Our pupil of the week this week is Fatma. So well done to Fatma who has been producing fantastic work for the last three weeks if I'm honest and probably even before that she's been working so hard. So well done to Fatma. She is our pupil of the week for always working hard and producing great work. Are there any other reasons? No, I think it's just that one. Well done Fatma. Hello everyone, we've come to an end of another week. Hasn't it gone fast? Um, first of all, before I announce my pupil of the week, this week it's just one person, I would like to say that I've been receiving some fantastic work from you, Year 5, um, and well done to all of you. I've had some great um, play scripts which have been turned into little videos, um, some of you doing puppet shows, and some of you filming yourselves. It's, it's just been wonderful. Um, and this week I've received some great ideas about things that people would do if they had the chance to change the world. Those have been great. Thank you very much and keep the work coming. My pupil of the week this week um, is another person down the list of all the people who have been submitting work regularly, in fact, always submitting work and um, the standard of work being very high. So I'm still working down that list because there's so many of you. So this week, I would like to award the Pupil of the Week to Arush, who's also been fantastic on Edmodo, um, submitting all of his work and doing it to the best of his ability. He also did an amazing um, puppet show, um, videoed it and uploaded it, and, and, and I was so impressed, I was blown away. So thank you very much, Arush, um, for your hard work and your dedication. You are this week's Pupil of the Week. Congratulations. Okay, Ed, are you ready for today's challenge? Okay. So you need to choose who, yes, you, who is going to be the star of the week this week. Got it? Okay. You go choose the paper from the bowl. Which one are you going to choose? Okay, that one. Okay. Well, let me have it. Uh, it says, it says, Elizabeth. I agree, Edward. What a jolly good idea. Um, Elizabeth is star of the week for consistently 
working extremely hard and um, doing her very, very best. So thank you very much, Elizabeth. You are the star of the week. Hello, Key Stage 2. Mr Evans here interrupting our assembly and any of Key Stage 1 and earliers who have joined us. As I told Key Stage 1 and earliers, I have a special announcement. I'm just filming a black screen whilst I'm talking in the background. I'll tease you with the announcement. It's regarding epic and epic reading. I'm recording this on Thursday night. It is 9.30pm. It's very late. And I have got the announcement that we have completed 3,000 books that the team Isamilo have read on Get Epic. Now that is absolutely incredible. So I'm glad that came in just before I was recording and preparing our assembly. So I'm going to pan across. Here is our reading for this week in real time. So at the moment, well done to Michelle. Michelle, Abbasali, Bill, Brian and Christiana. They are our top readers so far this week. So it shows me how long they've read for and how many days they've read for, which is incredible. Michelle, you are flying. She has read for nearly 300 minutes already this week, which is incredible. So that was my announcement. Back to your teachers. Hi everyone and a big hello to 3S. I hope you all had a really lovely long weekend for the half term and those of you who celebrated Eid, I hope you had a really nice time. You've all been working so hard and I've really enjoyed looking at all of the work that you have submitted. Lots of work coming in and lots of work being done to a really good standard, really high quality. I wanted to say a special well done to all of you who might be working at home on your own. So you haven't always got an adult or a parent or a big brother or sister to help you with your work. You're doing it all on your own and you should be very, very proud of yourself. So if that is you, give yourself a big pat on the back. I have to choose someone for Pupil of the Week and it was so, so tricky again for me to decide. So I narrowed it down to two people. We're only having one pupil of the week this week, so I've put both of those children's names in a little pot to help me decide, because I really can't decide myself. So I'm going to close my eyes, put my hand in the pot. This one is the winner. Let's see who it is. It is Nelson. Maybe it's backwards on the camera. Well done, Nelson. You are pupil of the week this week for your amazing effort in all of your work, especially in your science work that you submitted on Wednesday. Your diagrams were really beautiful and really detailed and you have sent me some lovely photos of the plants in your house. You've been working so, so hard on all of your learning and I'm really proud of you. Well done to everyone. Good afternoon, Key Stage 2. Foy, how are you? I'm so happy to see you back again after the half term. I hope you rested enough. And welcome to this last half term of the year. Very soon, we're going to hand you over to year five. Imagine that. My people of the week today is someone who worked uh, extremely hard, presenting work on time every time. I think this person has never missed a single assignment. Every time I open the submission, I always see this person's name come up first. And I'm happy with the work she's doing. I'm happy with the quality of the work she is presenting. Sometimes she even asks for more work. I'm very proud of this person. And this people of the week is Elsie Weston. Well done, Elsie. I'm proud of the work you're doing. I urge you to keep up doing the good work. And I hope to see more work, more high quality work from you as you move on. Goodbye, guys. We'll see you again next week. Enjoy. It's the end of all of our pupils of the week this week. So that means it is time for our songs. So as always, I will cut to some videos that have some words attached or something for you to copy. Join in with the songs. Sing them loud. I like hearing about which songs you've enjoyed. Maybe you want to send in a little video of you enjoying the songs, maybe. If not, watch the songs. Join in. Sing along. And keep a look out at the end. There may even be special little challenge at the end of this assembly. Your blood.
shines from you. You wind up like the wreck you hide behind that mask you use. And did you think this fool could never win? Well, look at me, I'm coming back again. I got a taste of love in a simple way. And if you need to know why I'm
sent me a link to a news story about a really funny challenge and it is from the UK and it is about some people who set up a sign outside their house regarding silly walks and they were making all of these people do these silly walks what I would do is on Edmodo I will send an assignment round 
with a link to these videos of people doing their silly, silly walks. And we want to see your best silly walk submitted. And I will show some of them in assembly next week. That is your special challenge. I'll see you next week for assembly. Goodbye.